Right ladies and gents, Sunday afternoon, part 14. It's hurting along. Had an amazing weekend. Um, buddy come up yesterday morning, my welder mate, and we finally got the big fridge box on. So, it, the whole, most of the trailer was planned around this. Um, we put on, he welded a couple of bars underneath onto the A-frame of the trailer and then I put the fridge slide all the way through in the box. These blue buttons are your connectors. Beautiful uh, King's Titan 100 kilo fridge slide. So as you can see I've got some tech screws in all the holes they run all the way through the box and into them 40 mil square tubes on the bottom and there's my slide that's where my fridge will sit they lock them uh, blue things and then eight o'clock this morning i had a phone call from my other mate who's an electrician auto electrician and he started with the power works so that's the socket where the fridge will plug into when it's sitting on here we had to work it out exactly how to put it because the cable has to come in and go go in and out with the uh, your fridge when it slides in there without getting all jammed up a welder mate did tell me not to connect my box to the the two together in case we get some flex in that long two meter draw bar i spoke about before but that's why i had the draw bar made so uh, sorry, the extended drawbar, so we could put that big fridge box on the front. And now when you look at it, my wheels, my centre of gravity of wheels, is like the American teardrops. It's two-thirds of the way along. It's a long, they're a long way back. The wheels are towards the back of the trailer. And a lot of the weight will be forward of the axle, on the axle or forward, not out the back, so I shouldn't have any dramas towing. I took it out for a run the other day. I didn't even realise I'd got it on. So I've got two doors to make. And the bully liner. Second coat to go on here. That's just a base coat. That side has been done. And the base, of course, I did all that. Pre-did all that. Now, what else I did... is I did the front in the bully liner so it, it protects it so it's all going to get chipped with the stones off the road and I did I ended up doing this section too um, so all the front and that's got a I'll put a rubber weather seal in through there lifted the lid right up really high and put a rubber weather seal in there and then I started putting my trims on on the corners and all the way up and over there and I'm quite happy with them they're quite sharp that's as much um, varnish as it's going to get so it's had four coats of the resin and a couple of coats of a UV varnish I have messed up varnish and stuff and epoxy guards but I'm okay with that I'm gonna give them a light sand and I'm gonna coat them in the bully liner too I think it's quite a good good look yep there's my beads around the top all the way around on the very top oh, the sun's a bit harsh it's getting late just aluminium angle sprayed a bit of seeker Black Seeker. This side needs one more coat of varnish. Sanded a few marks out of that. So one more on there. I shall probably do in a minute. There's my back door. Got that locked up now. And of course, I haven't got any locks on that yet. And away she goes. Cables are basically in, so now I can start lining. 
cable's in the right spot. This one's for a fan up here. On the right hand side. A light in the middle. I'm going to run one in through the side there for a light over the kitchen outside. The battery and everything is going to sit in there. They've all got cables and all run up from the underneath and whatever. I'm going to bring this one along the front and have a little display panel here on a couple of sockets for cigarette lighter sockets and USBs and uh, a little gauge on there, you can get them from Kings, a little bank of four, I'm going to cut into there, you'll wire that in. Uh, lockable, we'll put a weather seal around this, dust weather seal. I've had my quote for the top, that's booked in the, for the canvas works. Probably going to do the ceiling in a, maybe like a silver air cell flexible it's like a blanket but it's about four mil thick quite good for um, insulation so I might pin it to the beams with some wafer head screws and just have it the silver run the cables up behind that give me a bit of insulation um, you've seen the drawers and stuff underneath Anderson plug went on here today um, that'll be where I'll put the solar blanket. So I'll just solar blanket in there when I'm under a tree somewhere and then run the five metre lead out and lay the solar blanket out in the sun. Got to get the gas bottle attachment to sit on the A-frame, bolt to the fridge box for the gas, maybe one for the water or I might leave one for the water on the back of my ute for the weight. But there she is, up in the air. This is a bit more bully liner. That's not cheap, but I had a quote of it was nearly 1400 bucks to make one a fridge box in lightweight checker plate. Way too expensive. That's a $60 sheet of ply and a $60 tin of bully liner. So no brainer really I did give in originally I was going to have the the front my original idea because you, your plans have to change people because you learn so much and things change was have all timber but as I was told the timber on the front edge all here is going to get hit with stones coming off truck tires and what have you plus when then when you buy the ply you can't get so you struggle to get some nice pieces to get it all to match so I changed the front end plan to the bully liner when I could when I found that and I was able to roll it and a little bit of experience with the roller so I was able to roll it and get the the, the right effect up which I'm really really happy with and then I looked at the top the other day that it was 34 degrees here which is for the Yanks about oh, 92 somewhere like that 93 degrees and that top was boiling the uh, epoxy resin was bloody red hot you couldn't put your hands on it so I ended up getting a, a solar guard paint that's called Hi Ho Silver it's not silver, it's a grey. Unfortunately, I was after silver, but it's an actual, it's a light grey. I was after more of a silver like I've got on my roof rack, my truck rack. Uh, but that's a very strong UV rating, so that, that'll keep the, the sun out of that and stop it getting damaged. So that, that three or four coats with a roller on that, that was fairly easy to do. So I'm pretty happy at the moment. As I say, that's 14. Um, my mates run a cable up up under the trailer that's the normal one you plug in for your electrics and then I've got the Anderson plug as well and he will sort my ute out my truck and so that Anderson plug will plug in there and then whilst I'm driving the, um, the car alternator
will charge my lithium battery up. What he has asked me to do, so there's all things you learn and adapt on this outside wall, which is going to be around here, just above the guard, is actually it's right here, is where inside there the battery will be. He wants me to put a cut a panel out here, and put a vent on it. So that that battery and obviously that controller might get a little bit warm. So it can all vent. Um, so obviously I want something black. Some sort of with a screen on it, some sort of black. Because that's my theme. I don't like this cheap plywood on the back this one does have a tongue mark in it so I'm probably going to end up painting that with a bully liner too and leave the nice that was the nice ply oh, that's a lovely red it's had a couple of coats of varnish on it so leave that one paint that one black and then put my black my trims on this side so basically I'll have a nice shiny back door and the sides to lots of the sides this doesn't take too much to pull down Obviously, when all the tents on it, it will pull it a little bit, and I'll have to have some sort of cable that sits on here. Tuck it in when I'm pulling it down to something. There's my breaking point about there. That might change with the weight of the tent. That's another thing. They're 200 newtons each, which I think we worked out for about 44 pounds. 20 kilos of pressure, whether that's enough to hold the canvas, because the canvas will pull it apparently. That goes in on the 6th of December for that. Goes away for three or four days, he wants it in his workshop. So there's my look, just need to do that, uh, the box. Paint that up and uh, we're getting close. Start with electrics. That's my old Falcon U. 4 litre, the Barrow engine, it's, uh, there's only one problem, it's, uh, it's on gas and I'm going to struggle to get LPG gas in remote areas of West Australia. So stick to the roads, stick to the main roads, it's not an off-road trailer, it's not a four-wheel drive trailer, um, I've watched them on the beaches and that's for the young kids, they can have all that on I couldn't honestly, I don't like digging holes in sand if I'm getting paid. I certainly don't want to do it if I'm on holiday digging, digging four wheel drive, digging cars out of sand on sand dunes on the beaches. So for me and my missus, it's going to be national parks and caravan parks for us. I'm hurtling towards 60. I don't want to be digging, spend my morning digging, digging a truck out of a, off a sand dune. Off the beach, stuck on the beach. Not my cup of tea at all, I'm afraid. So, anyway, 14, part 14. Massive weekend of progress. Got my beads on. I've got them out the way because I just put them on now. I want to get back, put it back in the garage tonight. Um, doors on the back. What else is happening? Yes, got to put a door, door on here and a plate for the for the kitchen. Um, did know notice oh yeah I'm gonna put a cable out here and put a light somewhere here so it's over the kitchen at night still not fit fix this finish this by a long way got the leg to do I've spoke about that before did get the handle on my little drawer and I've noticed this thin six mil bit of ply has warped itself there's no way of me fixing it at the front I've got nothing to fix to but I need to do that in some checker plate and up there because the wok burner will sit there. All the pieces, you know, your, your skillet and your kettle and stuff will sit in here. Cutlery. But definitely need a leg. Adjustable leg. Light over the top. And yes, I've still got to get my three bars that run up here with a dog leg out 
that my awning will sit on. So this is about 1800 off the ground, six foot all the way from top to bottom. So my awning will sit up here and, and run out. And that's the, that will be the kitchen. So we have a table and chairs here. That will, the table and chairs will, will live in the box I've got underneath. And then all you'll do is pull the, the wok burner will sit on here. When, when we travel, that sits on there. And then it, go, run, it comes out the back the the feed for, and then run a two meter cable to the the bottle. Turn your gas on. And it's up to Nan if she wants to be this side and cook from this side, fridge, whatever, or cook from the other side under the under the what? Now then, just lost my train of thought then because I did put a weather seal in this roof today. Let me push that up. I've got a rubber weather seal. I put that in there early this morning. This big D rubber with the bar on it. And uh, bought from the hardware store. It's all in there, so that'll stop any water penetrating in there. Now, made in China, of course. And as soon as I tore the strip along the bottom so it's sticky back it just tore all the glue with it um, bloody hopeless quality you know you just get it from the shop i pulled this here we go this is it tore that off this morning you pull that off and it ends up pulled all the bloody sticky with it so two-sided tape or whatever they've used not very good quality but that's how the rubber bar sits. So what I did with my black Sikaflex, where have I got that? It all come off, it's the two sided tape. And I've just used my black Sika. Take the pressure off of that a bit. That's a good quality seeker. So I'll run a, run a bead of that all the way along there and um, stuck it down with that. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that from there, but it fills up that hole all the way along, stuck down. So now it's got the weather seal. There we are. Pretty happy so far. Big weekend that was. Week, uh, video 14 done. Fridge slide. All good. Tara for now.